Hi everyone, my name is Peter Pikalski. Uh, today we will continue building financial model of a nail salon from scratch. Um, and today it's uh, time for us to finally pull all, uh, put all these revenues and direct expenses inside the timeline. So we do have the timeline. We have the percentages of growth of revenues uh, since we are starting the business. And now we have to apply all these percentages to these values. So, um, how we are doing it? So, I'm just copying the timeline. Um, revenues and direct expenses. So this will be step number one. So here we just put the typical values of revenues and expenses of the typical year then we uh, copy these values to the other years of our financial projections and now we have to crop these values this is one and the second one we should uh, assign these percentages So here I'm just copying this table so here will be revenues direct expenses and we are uh, creating formula for the revenue so we're taking these values and assigning uh, these percentage values and we are freezing the line so and what we are getting by doing this here we see um, the real revenues when we start operating activity. So we don't have uh, six point six thousand dollar revenue during the, f the first month of operating activity of our nail salon. We just have, for example, six hundred dollars, and we can now play with different. Um, so I'll just mark it with green. And this line I will mark with red because direct expenses, they are expenses. And what we, uh, what we gained? First of all, we can easily displace the moment when we start operating activity. So we can do it just in one click, adjusting the day, and the month and year when we start operating activity. Then uh, we can also adjust the way we are reaching uh, the planned revenues. For example, we are opening uh, our uh, nail salon in the airport and there will be no step-by-step uh, -step reaching uh, the revenue. So we just open and we have 100% of revenues starting from the first month. So we are just doing like this. You, you are we're looking here and that's it or for example we can use some uh, we can uh, we can specify another way of another speed of reaching the planned revenues for example when we open we we just start with uh, three percent of our planned revenue then five then for example 15 for example percent then um, 30 and so on so we will we will have here another values uh, 
and what is available after um, next steps ahead will be adding payroll fixed expenses uh, and all other expenses so uh, bonuses and we will be able to see the operating losses that uh, that the business owner will face to uh, to to finance uh, from his own pocket and he will be able to see if uh, the business um, uh, if, if the business reaches his the, the, his planned revenues uh, faster or with, or with lower speed so he will be able to see uh, the gap between pessimistic scenario financing needed optimistic uh, scenario financing needed he will be able to see the gap of financing needed in in uh, optimistic basic and optimistic and pessimistic scenario so you will be able to uh, create lots and lots of scenarios and will be able to see uh, how much money you will need in this case if the business starts you are you're reaching break-even point fast or you're reaching your break-even point uh, not so uh, not so pretty well so you will be able to see different different scenarios and you will get uh, you will learn uh, lots of things about your business idea how stable it is uh, how much really money how, how much money you really n n need to start all your story so this is very valuable thing and very valuable interfaces that you need to build inside your financial model and you, uh, you you have an opportunity to play with all this data very easily this video was valuable for you you may give us a like subscribe uh, share this video with your friends you can also order financial models from scratch for your unique business ideas we can help you with that so see you guys in next videos thank you and bye